What's up guys and welcome to something a little different. This is Insanaquarium Deluxe. Okay, so some of you might actually be confused at what you're looking at. Basically, a lot of you have been saying you want a little more variety in the channel and recently there's just been so much Plants vs. Zombies content that is not planned on slowing down anytime soon, but there haven't been too many new games releasing or too many games I've been in the mood to do, so I figured I'd mix it up a little bit by playing a different PopCap game called Insane Aquarium Deluxe. So if you're not a big PvZ fan, maybe you'll like this. This is a really fun game. It's a puzzle game that will probably remind you here and there about about PBZ and actually I think predates Plants vs. Zombie. It's a fun little game. I love it so much. I haven't played it that much in like years, so hopefully you guys enjoy this little series on it. And if you do, you know what to do. Leave the video a like, comment in the comments section below letting me know you'd like to see episode two. But with that being said, let's get started with Insane Aquarium Deluxe. All right, so welcome to Insan Aquarium. Let's start our adventure. This game is so simple, but that's what's so awesome about it. Feed me, click on the tank to drop food for your fish. Fear me, use the mouse to zap aliens. And find me, collect three, all three pieces of the egg to advance a level and gain a new pet. So we'll be getting into all those details. Honestly, I don't remember too much of it. Luckily, this game is pretty simple. Welcome to Insan, or to the Insan Aquarium. Here are your first fish. Take good care of them. Um, okay, hold on, hold on, I gotta feed them. I didn't realize I could start. So, all you're doing is you have this little aquarium, and you have little fishies, and you just have to, you, you have to do one food pellet at a time for now, and these are things you can slowly upgrade, but the idea is to feed your fish until they grow into bigger fish, and then you can get more fish from that, because eventually, they'll be nice enough to poop out coins, and then you can earn those coins and buy more things. So, of course, we want to collect the coins, keep feeding these fishies so they keep pooping out coins, and the cycle of life continues. If they turn green, that means... <laughs> this game is so cute. But that means um, you need to feed them soon, or they might actually end up kicking the bucket, and that's not something you want to happen, because, you know, these fishies love you. Whether you believe it or not, they love you, and you should love them back, because, you know, that's what makes the world go round. And, you know, a lot of people think it's eating food and pooping out coins, but that's not really what makes the world go round. It's love. And, of course, appreciating pets. Because <laughs> all pets deserve love. And then, of course, you can actually buy an egg piece at 150 coins. We don't, can't quite afford it just yet. But, um, and that's sort of another big idea, is that we need to buy all three pieces, and then we will actually be able to, you know, successfully finish level. These guys are getting big, which means they're getting real hungry. So I honestly don't know if I want to buy another fish right now, because it seems like we're making plenty of dough. It's just a matter of keeping these guys happy. I need to be able to put, put out, like, one more piece of food at a time, because this just ain't enough for these big dudes. Here you go, eat that, eat that. Luckily, the faster they eat them, the faster I can put out another one. So let's go ahead and try to feed the little guy here. I mean, gotta look out for the little guy. Okay, let's go, there you go. But you can already tell how this game feels sort of similar to Plants vs. Zombies, the original, how it's just sort of this tame little puzzle game that has these simple little graphics, but it's also like, once you get into it, there's a lot of strategy to be enjoyed. And there you go. I guess that was only a two-piece egg. I have found Stinky the Snail. Now, if you play Plants vs. Zombies, you probably recognize this guy. Stinky roams around the bottom of your tank, catching any coins you may have missed. Your game has been saved. Awesome. Thank you, Stinky. <laughs> So Stinky's gonna go ahead and uh, pick up some coins if we end up dropping. Welcome to the next level. On this level, you will meet your first alien opponent. Uh-oh. Now, we haven't seen the aliens too much in Garden Warfare or Plants vs. Zombies at all. But that's okay. You know what? He's sort of creepy. I could do without him. I'm sort of upset that we have to see him here, to be honest. But I think you can have up to three pets at any given time, and those pets all do their own different things. So it's always good to have, you know, a little bit of everything. And, you know, at first, you know, we'll just have our three starter pets, but I think then, of course, depending on the strategy we want to have, and of course, let me know, guys, have you ever played this game before, and what are your thoughts on it? And if not, let me know, like, how you're enjoying it. There's a loud truck passing by. Let me close the window. A vicious alien is about to enter your tank. Defeat it with your laser weapon by clicking on it. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. I, I, no, no, no. I pressed the Windows key. No. Okay, so I might have accidentally pressed the Windows key, which crashed the game. Or maybe I just got so scared of the alien that I, uh, just closed it out of, you know, pure panic. Let's try it again. <laughs> a great start! This game was made, like, ten years ago, though, so it's just like, you know, and if it has a little bit of awkward things like that, alien, get out of here! And if you actually, you can actually click him into a corner. There you go, give me that diamond. 
You would be, and that's another thing. It's like PopCap has made so many great puzzle games over the years. It's just so much fun to play these. Because of course they made this. They made the original PVZ. They made you know Bejeweled Three. And oh, we can get better food quality. Was it quantity? And I think that was quality. And then you can also upgrade your food quantity, quality and quantity there. So now that we give them better, I guess they'll stay fed for longer, I can only assume. Well, that's good, because I definitely want the $300 upgrade now, because we need 500 coins for this next egg. So that's going to be a little bit different, difficult. So if I can get the 300 here and feed you, feed somebody over here, and just I'm, I'm going to be able to work with it a little bit better, which is always nice. But um, this is so much fun. I miss this game so much. I haven't played it in ages. Oh my gosh. But yeah, if you guys don't recognize Stinky the Snail, he is actually in PVZ in multiple ways. First off, in the original PVZ, he actually has the same purpose. Of course, if you know about the, um, what's it called? Basically, oh, I always forget the name of it, but the area in Plants vs. Zombies where you can earn up plant pots, you can water them, you can feed them, and they'll get you in-game coins and stuff, right? Well, you can also get Stinky the Snail there, and he'll do the same thing. He'll pick up your coins, and I think he's in PVZ2. Don't really know what his purpose in PVZ2 is. Shoot the alien's head to punch him downwards. Shoot its tail to deflect it upward. Oh, okay, I didn't know there was actually like specific things you could do like that. Okay, Mr. Alien, why are you coming in? I love how the 80s music just starts chiming in too. Come on, get out of here, get out of here. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> awesome. But um, also, Stinky the Snail also makes an appearance in Garden of Warfare as a cosmetic item. I think he pops up like as a hat for the pea shooter. So there's another way. And I think some of these other pets also pop up in Plants vs. Zombies games. So if you're curious, you know that's sort of just sort of a pop cap thing. <laughs> I mean, I, it's weird to think how long I've played pop cap games for because. I know way back in the day, PopCap was sort of just like a Flash game developer. Like they would just make games on like, you know, addictinggames.com, which I don't even know if that's a website anymore. But like websites, you know, I would log on to in school, like elementary school days to play games when the teacher wasn't looking. Cause you know, if I wasn't playing video games, I wasn't happy. But I would play some of the ones, like I think there was, oh, I forget what it was called. I think it was called like Quick Cash or something, but it was basically like a match em up game where you had to collect money by clicking the you know the corresponding color coins. So now we have a lot of money because I'm talking too much, not paying attention. So let's just go ahead and win. <laughs> All right, you found Nico the Oyster. Nico produces pearls that you can click on the floor for a hefty sum of money. Your game has been saved. So that seems not too bad. Okay, so we got Nico chilling out over here. I like how they're like, everything is sort of slightly 3D. Oh God, I gotta, I gotta feed these guys. Okay, there you go. Come on, feed you, feed you. Don't die on me. No, I messed it up. I'm really bad at this game. Poor fishy. I'm talking too much. I'm not doing enough plan. So I gotta change that up. Come on, ready? Are you not ready to eat yet? I'm waiting for Nico. Come on, Nico, help me out here. So I guess you really could get a game over right away if you're not careful. You could just let both of these fishies get taken out. That's a shame. That's horrible to think about. Oh, yeah, give it to me. So you gotta listen for that sound cue because I'm sure she eventually closes. So if you're too busy bouncing everything else, now you're gonna miss out. You're gonna miss out on some wonderful, wonderful money there. So now we have 300 coins. Stinky picked up that one. Thank you, Stinky. <laughs> I feel so bad calling him Stinky, but that's his name. And he calls somebody by their name unless they ask you not to. I mean, maybe Stinky doesn't like his parents too much. Maybe it's a bad relationship. Come on. Yeah, okay. I need, uh, before I get any more fish, I need to be able to go ahead and get some upgrades. So hopefully that happens. Like, I don't really know how it works in this game. Will I not get any upgrades until I purchase a certain amount of fish or what? Okay, let me get this. It's 205 coins there. Enemy is approaching. I'll try to keep everybody nice and fed. I guess I'll get one more, but it looks like there's still not any other extra stuff popping up. All right, alien dude, get out of here, hold on. Oh, gotcha. Don't touch my Stinky, by the way. Stinky, is a, he's my best friend. He helps me out with getting all the money. There you go, feed you. Oh, you don't want any? Okay, wait, 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 feed you. No, eat it, dude, eat it, eat it, thank you. Oh, now, now we got stuff. There we go, there we go. Start feeding everybody now. You get to feed every, everybody who's hungry, you get some food, you get some food. So there we go, this is gonna work out a lot better now that I can buy those upgrades. And who is this? Buy a carnivore? Oh no, he eats the other fish! I feel so bad! No, I don't wanna buy him! No, these are my fishies! I don't want them to get eaten! That's horrible! <laughs> now I'm gonna have like this personal moral conflict the entire time I play the game. It's episode one! <laughs> and I'm already having moral conflicts. That's too much. All right, let's buy some higher quality food. We already got the max, so we're feeding them pills, though. I mean, I guess if, if it, it makes them happy, if it still tastes good, 
Maybe they're flavored. Like maybe they're grape? I don't know. I'll just go ahead and buy some of that. Oh, get these. Come on, Stinky, help me out here. And these fish are getting really big. I've never seen them. I guess what also happens is uh, the quality food also allows them to get bigger, which would make sense. You know, better food usually means, you know, better growth. You know, nutrition. It's a thing, it's important. All right, there's an enemy approaching. Let's make sure he doesn't attack any of our wonderful fishies. I wish that instead of the fishes, you know, just sort of blinking green, or like they just sort of suddenly become green, right? Why is he hiding? Why is Stinky, I guess because he's afraid of the alien. I mean, that sort of makes sense. But I wish that instead of them just like, boop, I'm green all of a sudden, I'm unhappy, I'm hungry. I wish they would sort of slowly become green so you could know who's the most hungry, who needs to be fed right away. But I guess it's just sort of a matter of, you know, maintaining it yourself. Oh, let's go ahead and buy this so that we can put out several at once. We can basically keep everybody fed here, and, and then now I can buy a carnivore, which I don't want to do. Oh, no, what is this? Upgrade my weapon. Ooh. Ooh, he won't even know what hit him. Here, let's go ahead and get the diamond. Oh, he poops out diamonds, though. Totally worth it monetarily, but morally, it's, it's so wrong. <laughs> it's so very wrong. But I don't know if this is going to actually, you know, keep it us making money, it's hard to say. Like how much is that? That's 200 coins out. So if I can just, you know, make sure he's fed every once in a while, it's worth it. Can he eat the big fish? Oh no, eat that dude, eat that. I wonder if he can eat the big fish. I think he can only eat small ones. I hate how horrible that is. Come on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's go ahead and, uh, hmm. I'll, I'll burn my food quantity one more time and I think that'll be it for that. Get that diamond. You no, know, he still has a baby fish to munch on. Luckily, he doesn't seem to get as hungry as you know the herbivores, so it's something. Here comes another guy. I should actually upgrade my weapon really quickly. And I feel like I'm making this level last a little bit longer than it has to because I'm buying all these upgrades, but hey, whatever works. Look at all those diamonds though. I'm getting money much more quickly now though, so it's something. Let's go ahead and try to feed everybody. This game's like, I feel like this This came out, of course, before the age of mobile games. I would love to see it remastered for mobile, because I think it would be like a really fun iPad game. Like, even if it's the same game, just like HD, like a little bit higher quality with, of course, all this stuff, because this game, like it runs in such a small little window. Oh, geez, I need to give you baby fish. Okay, maybe a little too many baby fish. <laughs> That's so horrible when you think about it. That is just awful. So we need to buy another 2,000 there. Let's go ahead and feed you guys though, as long as I can just, you know, make you all happy. I just want everybody to be happy. Hopefully it's quick and painless for these little fishies. Oh boy, yeah, let's go ahead and get these guys. And, oh, let's get you. There you go. That was good. That was, the, the, the pearl's about 300 coins, I think, there. Maybe it varies in price. That actually might be the idea. Okay, but we're doing pretty well. This level's actually really long and really tough, but we're enjoying it, we're doing well. I have no idea how long this game is, but I looked up on, I know there's a website called like howlongtobeat.com or something, which you can um, look up like how long it takes other people to beat the games. And I saw that most people said like four hours, so I was like, okay, that ain't too bad. Cause then it's just like, you know, this could be like, you know, half an hour as an episode, like eight episodes in total, which just sounds like a fun little series that I can upload every once in a while when you guys wanna see some, you know, different stuff. And that's sort of the whole idea of the series is to just sort of enjoy it, enjoy a different game. Because I had plans of playing a ton of different games this month in February. You know, Lego Worlds is supposed to release. Um, the Formers is a really cool game coming out. But unfortunately, a lot of those games got delayed until late February to even like March. So I'm just sort of like trying to fill the gap because I know that there really has just been Plants vs. Zombies Heroes and Garden Warfare 2 going up. And I want to change that. But I also want to start my Plants vs. Zombies 2 series because I've been wanting to do that for months and months and months. But I don't just want to be uploading three different PVZ games, you know, and that's it. So I've been trying to make things a little bit more bearable for you guys, for those of you who might not be the biggest PVZ fans in the world. But there you go, we got ourselves an egg opening up. It's Itchy the Swordfish. Itchy helps you by attacking aliens when they appear. Your game has been saved. Thank you, Itchy. So he's gonna be uh, unguarding his way through all the aliens, very cool. Oh, let's feed you guys. Why do I always forget to do this? No, eat it, dude. Thank you. <laughs> Jeez, I just like I'm always so focused on just looking around and enjoying the landscape that I forget that these fishies need food. Eat it! Thank you! Eat it! Thank you! <laughs> Sometimes they're just too picky, man. Just too picky. Come on, feed you. No, not hungry. You gotta wait for them to be hungry. You gotta wait for them to go for the food and then you feed them. Eat it! <laughs> they're so slow. <laughs> Come on, eat that. 
I guess I'll get one more in here, but that's all. We can't we can't bounce more than three. Give me that pearl. That's actually two hundred. See, that time was two hundred and fifty coins. It got me from fifty to three hundred. So maybe it is different every time. Because I swear, last time I gave me three hundred. Maybe it didn't. I don't know. Maybe I'm totally wrong. But yeah, you can see how the pets are really helpful because you know that's just you know free money right there. The aliens will be easier to deal with, even though at this point of the game they are pretty easy to deal with. I can only imagine that once they spawn in more than once, which I can only imagine that's gonna happen sooner or later. I'm gonna guess that's when it's gonna get real difficult. Here, you eat that. We probably need some food soon too. And I think that really just seems like you don't get too much extra stuff until the first alien pops up, and then there'll be some more upgrades available. Oh, give me that. Thank you. I have no, yeah, it definitely wasn't a solid number that time or a solid hundred. All right, enemy approaching. Where are you at, dude? Oh, you're getting yellow. You're getting green or whatever. You're already yellow. <laughs> All right. Whoa, what the heck is with this dude? He's a lion. My mortal enemy, destroy him. <laughs> awesome. We got him. All right, now we have upgrades. So let's go ahead and get some of those. Man, that was crazy. Why was he so different? Why'd he go Super Saiyan? Like, that was insane. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love how wacky this game is already. Let's go ahead and do that. There you go. Yeah, I don't know what he was supposed to look like, but he just looks like his own thing. Um, so let's go ahead and try to buy, I'll buy two more fish, and if I can afford it, I'll try to buy an upgrade soon. With, um, let's buy quality, actually. Better quality, for better stuff, feed these fishies up. Feed them all up, we're getting so many coins out. Let's go ahead and I can't do that quite yet. Maybe this game's already on mobile. I don't think it is though. It's so old. It came out, you know, like predating like touchscreens, phones, and everything, you know? It's super duper old. But so I think that, you know, old games are charming most of the time, you know? Especially when they just sort of have that quality that this game has. Like, PopCap games always have had that, you know? That sort of like, that sort of like, I guess like, I wanna say dry humor, but you get what I mean. If you've played a lot of pop Gip games, you, you probably know what I mean, in the way that you know a lot of them have this consistent theming. But I actually played this game during an update video in 2016, and in that video, I got a lot of comments not only asking, what the heck is this game, but also, hey, it's a sand aquarium, can you please play this game? So hopefully this will satisfy some people's wants and needs. All right, let's go ahead and get you out of here. Come on, come on, wait, oh, I need to feed you still. Oh, I can't actually feed people when I'm attacking. I mean, I guess that makes sense, but it's also weird. Nobody died there. Nobody died, okay. Let's go ahead and buy Yoon. You're gonna be a little hungry at first because I need to get money to feed Yoon, but there you go. Oh wow, there's just so much money everywhere. It's crazy to keep up with, especially these little fishies that stay on the ground, because it's like once it hits the ground, it like starts to disappear. So like this guy keeps on pooping out coin. You need to move. Move your fishy butt. Let's, oh, we can't buy that quite yet. I'll buy a weapon upgrade. Stop doing that, dude. Why are they just stuck down there? It's not making it easier for me. <laughs> like, not gonna feed him if he's stuck down there. I'm gonna only feed the people who, you know, strive to, you know, be at higher spots in their life, not just chill at the bottom here. Go ahead and eat that, dude. Go ahead and eat that. Eat that, eat that, eat that. No, please, get him! Get him! Oh my gosh, I was so close. Oh my gosh, we almost lost our carnivore. That would have been a thousand coins down the drain. We barely got anything from him so far. Let's go ahead and upgrade our quantity. Oh man, I missed a diamond there. Stinky, I need you to pick up the pace. I need you to pick up the pace, Stinky. Oh my gosh, there's so much going on here. Okay, two baby fish, one of those has to get eaten. Oh my gosh, there's so many things to click. So many things to click. Like, this is more than plants versus zombies. Like usually there's a lot of things to click in that game. Let's go ahead and upgrade this one more time. Oh boy. Let's go ahead and uh, get him. There you go, come on, come on, come on. No, he actually ate one of my fish. No, he destroyed him. This is not enough room to you know balance it all. Holy cow. All right, get that diamond before it disappears. I almost have our first part of the egg, which is good. Come on, there you go, I got those. Eat up, guys, eat up. I'll get another baby fish in here, buy that. It's a little bit farther, so I only need to buy, it's, it's weird, because it, it acts like you need to buy three pieces of the egg, but I think you only need to buy two. It's weird. Maybe you already start with one. It's, it's really weird how it counts it. We'll find out. If I if the game ends after this one, then I know that I only need to buy two, not three. Or maybe it's just sometimes it changes. I don't know, it's really weird. Anyways, let's get all this stuff. And by that, I'm actually making great progress right now. Ooh, get those. I'm also just trying to get used to my mouse because I, I keep on changing the sensitivity to it. You know, it's just whatever, to fit whatever game I'm playing, but sometimes that means I gotta get used to it again. Let's go ahead and do that. I've never owned a pet fish before. 
I've never really been a big fan of that kind of like pet owning. Just because you have so much control and it's like if you mess up, it's like, you know, you're putting your pet in danger, it's scary. Like, I don't know, to me, like, pet owning is super scary sometimes, you know? I mean, I, we own a lot of pets at this point. We have 10 cats. But, you know, it's funny. Oh, no. Okay, there you go. You know, it's like we, we're, we're able to take care of them through a lot of time and management. But when it's something like it's just in the corner, you know? Like, that's where it gets scary for me. Because it's like, it's like I'm not, I'm usually just, like, you know, doing my own thing a lot. While cats will, you know, claw at the door and meow at you if they want something. Like a pet. You know, or, you know, their second dinner. And I'm like, no, you're not getting second dinner. <laughs> Tom is really hungry sometimes. <laughs> I was going to buy a final egg. There we go. So what's going on in this one? We get ourselves a Prego the Mama Fish. Oh, Prego helps populate your tank by giving birth to a new baby guppy every so often. I don't know if that's worth it. We'll find out in the next episode though, I think. Well, no, we could go for one more. We can, we're only 20 minutes in. So, we get to choose now, choose your pet, choose three more pets to take the next level. So definitely Stinky sort of helps. Like, I don't think we really need Itchy's help right now. Itchy isn't like, because we're only dealing with one alien at a time and I'm guessing there's gonna be more popping up at some point. Let's try this combination because of course, she's going, <laughs> she's just such a weird looking, I don't know. We're never gonna have to replace her soon because she just weirds me out. But she's gonna help us save some cash and you know what, money talks sometimes. Depends on what world you live in. Let's go ahead and try to feed you, buddy. Come on, eat it. There you go, good job. So I'm actually not gonna buy, I'm gonna save my cash, because she's going to poop out her own baby. Which I mean, I wonder if she poops out money too, because if she, she she literally made a fart noise as well. She's pooping them out. <laughs> but I mean, she, she poops out baby fish that poop out coins that never poop out other baby fish. It's just so weird, this game is so bizarre. And why does she look like a duck? That's sort of the thing, she does not look like a fish, or at least she doesn't look like her children. So it's like, what's going on there? She has like the little duck bill. I don't know, there goes another one. Maybe it's a little too much. Oh my. Well, if we get a carnivore now, it should be super easy to afford keeping him around. It's just a matter of, I don't know, it's just really weird. It's almost too much. Let's go ahead and pick up some of you guys. I'll give you guys some food. There we go. We seem to be keeping everybody happy. I'm gonna go ahead, oh, I wanna buy him right away, but I don't have the cash right now anyway. So let's go ahead and up our quantity if we can. Come on, there we go. And quality as well. Here comes an alien. Alien's coming in quick this time around. Come on, where are you? Where are you? Leave my fishy fish alone! Jeez, he has a lot of health. Okay, maybe Itchy would have been a big help. He has a lot of health. I didn't know Itchy was helping that much. Itchy's a bro. There you go, come on guys, get this, get this. If you don't move for the food, I can't get it for you. I can't make you eat, I can't, you know, shove it in your face. Cause that'd be rude to do, and I'm not a rude dude with a poor attitude. There we go. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun though, this is a fun game. It's simple, and I like that. And I can also still, you know, play horribly and still be able to do okay, cause it's sort of casual like that. Let's go ahead and try to feed some of you dudes. Come on now. Ready, boom, boom. All right, not bad. I'm halfway to that carnivore, and I think the carnivore is definitely gonna be worth it at this rate. Come on, come on. We're definitely making better cash, I'd hope. I mean, it, it makes sense, because we're not buying any baby fish, and you know, it's just a couple hundred coins that we saved. But I'm not picking up these coins, because everybody's, why is everybody chilling out down here? What, what was with the little party? Little cluster of fishies out here in the bottom left. I don't need that. Oh boy, come on, come on, come on. Ready? Got it, nice. And get you, get that pearl, thank you. Let's buy the carnivore, and you go ahead and start feasting, dude. I, I've sort of gotten set, you know, desensitized to it. It's still a horrible thing. It's still very horrible. But you know what, multiple signatures, okay. Oh, I can't even buy that upgrade. Come on, get these coins, get these coins quicks. Come on, come on, come on. I don't have enough still. Oh no, this is bad, this is really bad. I gotta get both of them in the same corner. No, he's eating everything, you jerk butt. Okay, I need Itchy. I need Itchy right now. Holy cow. Luckily we'll be getting some back, but jeez. That was awful. Luckily I still have my upgrade, so it's not like it's like reverting everything. But that was a huge setback. Huge. Can you guys get out of the corner again? Come on now. Let's go ahead and buy like one baby fish. It's 5,000 now. I'm definitely gonna have to buy as much weapon upgrades as possible. So next time around, I think maybe I won't keep, you know, her, and instead I will have 
I mean, I just feel like, you know, maybe Stinky, there's just too many coins for Stinky to really help. So maybe we should do a combo where we just get rid of Stinky and replace him with Itching. I'm not sure though. It, it's hard to say. And when you, it's, it's like, sometimes it feels like three isn't enough. Let's go ahead and buy this upgrade because I desperately need it. Luckily, the, each upgrade is only the same price every time. And now that I have less fish, I don't need to like feel pressure to buy any upgrades right now, like for these. Okay, let's go ahead and feed June. And we can keep these few fed. There we go, that's decent. Let's go ahead and try to get some of you guys. Hey, I picked up that coin, come on game. We need 5,000 for our next one, which is pretty insane as well. I think I wanna get another carnivore, but I need to get these damage upgrades. I need to make sure I'm doing as much damage as possible. Multiple alien signatures detected again? Oh no. So I think that uh, Itchy's our bro. Come on, get, get out of here. Don't destroy my sinking carnivore again. Okay, so we got rid of the not a scary one right away. Here, let me get that. <laughs> there we go, I don't think we lost anybody there. Awesome, so getting those upgrades, definitely worth it. I'll try to buy one more, holy cow, it gets crazy strong. Well, I just need to be able to survive the early game. I'm guessing once we run out of fish, it's game over. Maybe it's when we run out of money, right? Like if we run out of money, obviously then we can't buy any fish. I really don't know how it becomes game over. Maybe you can't get a game over. That would make sense. I mean, it is a pretty chill game, so it doesn't really need a game over. It doesn't need that, you know, risk of loss. Let's go ahead and do that. Get another one of you out here. Try to keep everybody happy. Just trying to keep a smile on everybody's fishy face. But yeah, Stinky's trying is just, there's too much. I think that's, you know, leaving negative effects to the whole fishy family we got going on here. There we go. So I'm trying to max out everything. And I can just sort of throw things out sort of wild willy nilly. Now I can just be like, boop, 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 boop. What I like is that you never have to end the level. Like you can just play this level forever. Because it's just like, you don't, it doesn't end until you buy the stuff. So it's like super chill. If you just want to play one level for an hour and just sort of enjoy the calmness of it, you can. And I like that. That's sort of a cool idea. All right, enemy approaching. Oh man, look at how powerful our gun's gonna be. Oh my gosh, this alien's not gonna know what hit him. Not gonna know what hit him. Oh my gosh, we get cool little effects too. You're out of your lionfish. Lionfish alien. Why do they wanna eat fish? Why are they in my aquarium? Like they, they need to be pretty powerful, right? Like, you think they'd do something else with their, their time. If they could just teleport anywhere, anytime, I'd be doing more incredible things. But I guess they are pretty small if they're just the size of small fish or at least, you know, slightly bigger than them. Because, you know, obviously if these little pills, like, you know, to scale, unless it's just a giant aquarium, you know? And these fish are actually like 20 feet long. Like maybe I'm misinterpreting things here. But I think now we're good to actually start reaching for the, um, the big um, 5K here to, you know, afford this first bit of egg. Because we've been taking our time with it for sure. It's been nice and slow, but sometimes it's worth it. Let's go ahead and boom. Get you guys a little bit. But yeah, let me know if you guys enjoy this and if I should continue. I wanna continue, because this is a you know, fun little thing to do. Like, I'll probably record most of the series, not all of it at once, um, and just sort of like post it when I have time to. You know, That way it's like when I don't have anything to upload, I just, you know, like I always have this. So there is one piece of the egg bot. I need to make another 5,000 coins now. An enemy is approaching. It's just one though. It looks like it's gotten easier. I guess it sort of reels back a little bit just in case you are having a hard time. I wish if you just put your mouse over it, like that would count. Leave that fishy alone, sir. And this thing is getting insane. Is this like a giant punching fist now? Like it sort of looks like just a bunch of knuckles. <laughs> like crazy stuff. Hopefully we'll be able to get around 5,000 before um the next big kahuna alien shows up. Like I wonder if those are the only two. Will we see more? I don't know. I hope so. Like honestly, I don't think I've ever gotten this far in the game, which which is weird because it's episode one. Like I said, I did not like I haven't played this game in years. I haven't played it since I was super young, and I didn't play it much. Like I played it once or twice. Like I didn't. I don't think I had it. I think maybe like I had a demo, or maybe I like had like like a friend had it, and I tried it. I just remember trying it some way somehow. Maybe there was even a flash version. Who knows? I, I really can't remember at this point. We're almost at that next 5K though. Let's see. Let's see. Come on, pick up all of the stuff. Oh, give me that, give me that. No, no, you need a baby. There you go. And then, uh, geez, we're getting so close. Get it so far away. There we go. Boom, so we do need to buy three of them. 
which means we are one away. We still need to get another 5,000, which is always fun. Hmm, I might want to get you. And there's like, yeah, you can just upgrade that so many times. Like I, at this point, I can basically constantly throw out um, stuff. Let's go ahead and try to get you in the corner. You don't move as much. Like when I'm trying to move him out of the way, he just does not move as much. Stop pooping out all the diamonds at the bottom of the, the aquarium, because then I can't do much about it. I'm gonna keep placing stuff up here. And... There we go. And then keep like sort of my eyes towards the bottom of everything. That way I can try to catch the, you know, the, the diamonds that are falling from super low. It's tough. It actually is like the difficulty's ramping a lot. It's tough to get to this point. 5,000 coins. A lot of coins, man. You know, these fishies really gotta pay their dividends. Boom, boom, boom. It's a matter of investment, risk of investment, too. Just throw out two smaller fish, because I'm sure these guys are getting hungry. Dude, I'm pl throwing out plenty of food. You should never be hungry. Like, you are well fed. You are in a good environment. You are as big as a carnivore, so you ain't gonna get eaten. That's good to know, though. Like, they don't they don't eat my big sp spenders, you know? Like, I still have, you know, the big guys who are gonna produce coins for me. That's gonna be good. Let's go ahead and get that. I'm almost there. Almost. Boom, boom. So close. Come on, come on. I'm gonna pay attention to you. Yeah, I knew you were gonna do that, buddy. And bada boom, there's another level done, and we're gonna be able to get ourselves a new pet. It is Zorf the Seahorse. That is adorable. Zorf gives you a hand in keeping your fish fed. Oh, that is awesome. I might actually take that one. Your game has been saved, but we're going to go ahead and head back to the menu now because that was so much fun. That is the first episode of Insane Aquarium Deluxe. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, of course, like I said, let me know in the comment section below so I can keep playing this game for you guys. Guys, it's an old one, but it's a good one. And I hope you guys enjoyed the little touch of variety here and there. I'll try to upload this every once in a while, every couple days or so, whenever you guys seem to want more of it. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode on Insane Aquarium Deluxe. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watch this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebrafish, showing that you've watched in the video and that you are a Zebratastic viewer. But by the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.